Hey everyone, you know my name. Let's get right into this one. So you might be familiar with the Team AGF and that one show, a little sport they have going on called Gorge Ball. You know, it's being posted all over their channels over the past winter. But after watching these games, you might be wondering, doesn't a sport need a shitposting YouTube channel to laugh at all the players and make fun of them? Well, your wishes have been granted! I'm going to recap this entire season on this channel. And before we start this awful series, I gotta say, I have a few things to say. These videos are made as a joke and are only judging a person based on their skill in Gorge Ball. For obvious reasons, there will be no personal attacks since these are all my friends and neither will their character be judged unless it directly affects their gameplay. Another thing is I want to say these videos have heavy inspiration from other real sports YouTubers, possibly, so I'm not claiming to be original because I'm never fucking original. And, at least until I find my groove. And at last, yeah, the season was supposed to start in the spring, but college kind of fucked that up, and people not paying their shit looking at you, Dylan and Bobby. Anyways, let's begin. Well, half of the players from last season are gone. Here is the full list of them on screen. You can see some big names missing this season. Seth, Kyle, Matt, and even both creators. That's right, George and Lid will not be joining us this season. It's almost like they don't want to get screwed by Zack in the postseason again. And besides those losses, everybody's coming back. Except... Wait, what's that? What's that you say? Sam is dropping out of the season? Who will replace her then? Oh, you don't say. Lydia is actually back for the season. Since she joined late, she is put into the Vibe Train Conference when she was originally supposed to be in the Wooga. What the fuck are these names? Only time will tell if that gives her an advantage this season or not. But for real, let's get on with the show. AJ has a lot to prove this season. How can you go from making the championship in Season 1 to just pure mediocrity in Season 2? I'll tell you though. Getting carried away on that offense. Those aggressive strike downs usually end with his final ball getting strike down in the end. Also, some of those penalties don't help either, like this one in Zach's game. At least he has a defense, and when done correctly is great, but if he wants to do better this season and return to the promised land, he has to fix that offense. While last season may not have gone well for him, Dylan is one of the more promising players in this conference. Yes, last season was not good, but it was a decent launching pad for him. He was even able to take out Matt, who would have gone undefeated that season if not for that loss. It sucked because everyone he played was just the better player, sad to say. This season, though, if he can improve his overall play, this could be a promising season, all things considered. Assuming he doesn't resign mid-season again, Sully could finally return to the postseason. After leaving Season 2 with a 3-2 record, he could keep the momentum up. What is Sully's weakness, though? Whenever his luck runs out. He has skill, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it just disappears in the middle of the game. Take Week 4 last season, for example. It seemed like he should have won with ease, but he stalled out in the end. If he can press his skill and luck all the way, he will either be the best or the worst this season. I'm predicting a 5-3 record, nothing crazy. The king of underachieving is back. Don't let his last season record of 1-7 fool you, he can manage in a game. He, like Sully, resigned last season at 1-4. The thing is, some of his games were winnable, like going against Sam slash Luke could have resulted in a win. How will we hold up this season? Well, considering how last season was going, this season is going to be a rough ride. Good luck. I'm just going to talk about all three of these guys at the same time since they are all brand new to the league this year. So sadly, no video of them playing exists yet, so you'll have to take my word for it. They all learned how to play around the same time. Jake being the earliest of the three, so between them, I'd say he has developed the best, but I feel like Ben will do the best out of the three. But will they keep this up for in the league? That is yet to be determined. Eric is ready to show the world that he can kick ass. After losing the championship last year, at least now he won't have to go against Zack in the championship again. They instead get to meet in the postseason. How fun. Eric had a good run last season, if he can keep it up this season, he could be a force to be reckoned with for seasons to come. Watch how he took out one of the best players in Gorge Ball and shit all over his dreams, and making it to the finals on top of that. I'm looking forward to see how his season goes. Now she also has a lot to prove this season. 
After starting off last season with a decent 2 and one record, she then collapsed and lost three of her last five. Not the worst collapse of last season, but should still be noted. I think this time around she will do better since the league has lost a bit of its most dominant players last season. In fact, half of all players who made the playoffs last season are gone. It's like Thanos came in and snapped them all away. Anyways, back on topic. With Lit in the league again, she should be able to come out better than last season, hopefully. And finally, our undefeated regular season champion, Zach. He dominated last season and showed the world why he won that first championship, and then proceeded to do it again. This season he's going for a third championship, but can he do it? He has been close to getting defeated before, but got bailed out by chokes or penalties. He will probably have the best record in the vibe train this season, but will he go all the way? We'll see. Now, the part of the video that people will make fun of in a few months, saying how poorly it has aged. PLAYOFF PREDICTIONS! For the Wooga Conference, I see Sully securing the first seed. I don't know, it just seems like something he's gonna do. Or he'll be in like fourth place, we'll see. Number one seed secured. I think the wild card seeds will go to AJ and Dylan, getting the second and third place respectively. With Dylan out of all three making the finals. I just feel like after the mediocre last season, he's ready to kick some ass and is ready to, you know, win it all for once. As for the Vibe Train Conference, I see Zach taking the first seed and Eric and Lydia taking the second and third seeds, with Eric going to the finals and defeating Zach in the postseason for the once, yeah. For revenge for last season. But I don't think he's gonna make it all the way, I have him losing to Dylan at the end in a best of four. Me now saying that is gonna mean that Ethan and Jake play each other cause God's sense of humor is more fucked up than ever before. Anyways, good luck to everyone this season, let's make it better than the last.